What's going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back for another video where today I want to go over some of the combine stuff, some of the notes that I've gathered, looked into some of these guys, not all of them, but some of them. And we've talked about some of these guys. Some of these guys are people that made noise at the combine. But what I want to talk about is guys that we have our eye on on the future. Okay, for, for this channel, these are guys that we'll be talking about as time goes on because these are guys that might need to be looked at by the Indianapolis Colts, might need to be picked up. Where would they be drafted? That's a great question. I'll do another mock draft very soon. But for the purposes of this video, I just want to go over some guys that are really impressive. If there's anything I missed that you might have picked up from the combine, I'd love you for you to tell me down in the comment section. We'll use all that as notes is what we're going to talk about as we go in to draft season. So what we're going to look at first here is Braden Fisk, the defensive tackle from Florida State who had a relative athletic score of 9.97 for a defensive tackle. Okay, his arm length is 31. That's pretty average. He's 6'4", 292, runs a 478. Big boy is moving, and he has a vertical of 33.5, almost three feet in the air for a guy of his size. He's incredible. He's at extremely athletic from what I've seen of him so far. He seems like somebody who has – explosiveness makes big plays and big moments which is definitely something we'll continue to talk about Braden Fist somebody that I was very impressed with coming out of the combine but some other guys on that defensive line we're going to look at Miles Cole here defensive end relative athletic score of 9.96 at 66278 runs a 467 with a 35 inch vertical absolute freak athlete out here at defensive end, somebody that I think can play inside, can play outside. His arm length is ridiculous at 36.875. So all around, Miles Cole, somebody that we're going to look into in the future. There's Robinson at defensive tackle from Missouri at a relative athletic score of 9.64. 9.64. Okay, and his arm length is 34.5 inches. This is a guy that's 6'5". 285 runs a 495, 35 inch vertical. Okay, freak athletes on the defensive line. That's why I'm looking at these guys. And of course, you know, being an athlete isn't everything. Again, I will look into all these guys in more detail and figure out more things about all these guys. These are just guys that we're keeping our eye on. Okay, Nate Wiggins coming out of this one. Had a relative athletic score of 9.42, a little lower than you might have thought. He's 6'1", just over 6'1", 173. Arm length a little shorter than what Chris Ballard would normally go for at corner, but he's at 30 and a half. He ran his 40-yard dash in 4.29. Okay, and I actually think the official, that's the unofficial time. I think the official time was 4.28, so very fast, very athletic. Has a 36-inch vertical, but, again, some traits that Chris Ballard would rather have, like the long arm. So we'll see what happens. Not sure if he really dropped. I still think he's a guy that will be a first-round pick, but definitely somebody to keep our eye on going forward. Then as we continue on here, we have the first 10.0 that I've ever seen with Theo Johnson, tight end from Penn State. Penn State has a lot of athletes, especially in this draft. And this guy, 6'6", 259. 33-inch arms. He ran a 4.58. That is absolutely ridiculous. Big boy is moving. Okay, 39 and a half inch vertical. This dude is a freak athlete at tight end. Somebody that I'm very interested in. Okay, if we're not getting Brock Bowers, then this is somebody that's going to be on the radar of somebody that we need to add to the Colts. Okay, now how much of an explosive athlete is it going to add? Right, we want to add explosiveness to the offense. Is Theo Johnson that guy? If you know anything in depth about this guy, okay, I'm not the biggest college football guy. I got to look into these guys. So any information that you have on these guys is great. Theo Johnson, what do you know of him? How great can he really be, right? We have Jelani Woods, your Ogletree. His cage just got dropped, so seemingly he'll be back. Kylan Granson going into last year with the Colts, and honestly, there's probably a good chance Molly Cox is going to get let go. So Theo Johnson, is he a guy the Colts should draft? We'll look more into that as the offseason goes on. Okay, but then you have Cam Hart, cornerback from Notre Dame with a 9.82, got that 6'3", 
202, so a little bit bigger of a body, but ran a 4.5 and has 33-inch arms. This is a guy that is a Chris Ballard athlete, maybe not quite as fast as we would like, but a really good athlete. Then Ryan Watts, free safety from Texas, 9.81 relative athletic score. This guy almost 6'3", 208, so a big guy with 34.5-inch arms, some long arms there. And for a safety, pretty good speed sitting here at 4.53. Okay, a lot of guys are running sub 4-4 now, but what we do have here is a safety with a crazy athletic profile, and 4-5-3 is still moving. Okay, let's not take anything away from that. That is still moving. Okay, but then a dark horse tight end, somebody being talked about a lot, or at least somebody that everything I've heard about him is just like, yeah, I really like this guy, is Tight end from Kansas State, Ben Sanat, who had a relative athletic score of 9.49. And the only reason it's really that low is because of his size. When you look at his size, nine and a half inch hands. His height, just under 6'4". He's 250 pounds, which is a little heavier. When you look at his arm length, 32.375, which should be able to help him blocking just like his size should be able to kind of counterbalance and get lower gravity. He's a little bit heavier of a body for a tight end. Should be good as a blocking tight end. And when you look at his 40 time, it's 4.68. And his vertical is 40 inch vertical for a tight end, especially somebody with his size, the way he's able to run, the way he's able to jump. He's a freak athlete at his size, somebody that I think could be valuable for the Colts. If it's not one, then it could be the other, right? We have different candidates here for different positions, but we'll continue to look into these guys. Just like we're going to continue to look into wide receiver options, whether it's draft or free agency, the guys we're looking at here are A.D. Mitchell with a 9.98 relative athletic score, ran a 4.34, sitting at 6'2", 205, had a 39.5-inch vertical. Then Brian Thomas, the guy we like a lot here, who's actually shorter than what he was listed at, comes in at just under 6'3", just under 210, which we, what he was originally listed at. And he ran a 4'3'4 as well, just like A.D. Mitchell, had a 38.5-inch vertical. So Brian Thomas looking really good coming out of the combine. A lot of people talking about him. One of the best showings in the combine. And another guy that impressed a lot of people at the combine was Xavier Leggett, who comes out with a 9.92 relative athletic score. His height is six foot one. He's 221 pounds, ran a 4.39. Okay, another sub 4.4 four guy, had a 40 inch vertical. This is a freak athlete guy, somebody that we'll definitely continue to keep our eye on. We've already had a video about him before. We'll continue to keep our eye on him, see just how much he raises in the draft order and see what everybody else is thinking. Where do the insiders think that he might go? Is it first round now? Is he going to be a second round guy? This wide receiver class is absolutely stacked. Okay, and I think one of the underrated guys, somebody not being talked about a whole lot, is Jermaine Burton, wide receiver from Alabama, who sits at six foot, 196, so not the biggest guy in the world, but he ran a 4.4540 and has a 38 and a half inch vertical, an 11 foot broad jump. He's a really good athlete, really explosive, somebody that I think the Colts maybe target maybe in the second round or third round, somebody they get in the later rounds, not a first round guy, in my opinion, but somebody that could be on the Colts draft board. Okay. Somebody that I think almost certainly rising up the Colts draft board is Cornelius Johnson, wide receiver from Michigan, a guy that has experience playing high level opponents, experience playing in the national championship, right? Even though that Michigan team ran the ball primarily, right? But you look at his relative athletic score of 9.91. The only thing that's really worrisome for me is his hand size at eight and a half inches, but arm length 31, almost 32 inches, sitting at six, two and a half and 212 pounds, ran a four 0.4440, had a 37 and a half inch vertical, just over 10 foot broad jump. This is a guy, freak athlete coming out of Michigan. Again, has had really good coaching and has high level playing experience 
in college. So somebody that I think is definitely on the Colts board, just a lot of guys for us to pay attention to. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on any of these guys. If you're a college football watcher, if you've done your own research, what do you know about these guys? Okay. I'm getting started on my research. We're going to be talking more about free agency because that's right around the corner, but we'll continue talking about draft guys and mix in some draft talk as we go forward. So again, whatever your thoughts are on this topic, you let me know down in the comments section. And of course, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you get notified as we have daily content. Like I said, more free agency, more draft talk. We'll continue talking about it all. So make sure you're subscribed so you're getting notified for every single video. And with that said, I appreciate you stopping by for another video. As always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and go Colts.